Hello, well welcome to today's seminar. I'm Bronwyn Pott and uh, today we're going to be talking about managing people well. So just to give you an overview of um, where we're going to go today, um, I hope I'm going to refresh your knowledge of the common strategies for delegation, supervision and management of staff. Um, there's a few little acronyms there that I'll, um, you'll be able to use afterwards to refresh your memory. One of the overarching problems with professional services is that we don't put very much emphasis on developing our people as supervisors. We focus on their technical skills and then we hope these people who were raised, for the want of a better term, often in relatively toxic environments, will suddenly morph into effective managers and team leaders. The idea is that the bottom rung um, uh, if I'd been able to do it better, it would have sat there looking a little bit more interesting, but it's, you move from telling someone to doing something, um, that's where you start with a new delegate. That's for someone who's having their first crack at a task. Of course, sometimes the work is just plain tedious, regardless. How do you motivate others, even yourself, to do work that fits into this category? You know, often it's a matter of being positive about the task, explaining the need for it to be done, and agreeing who will be responsible and then being appreciative when it's done. And respect is a two-way thing though. Um, so would you be happy for your staff to hear how you talk about them? I don't know, that's something to think about, lead by example. So decision making, just a few words about decision making, actually I kind of threw this in here as a bonus. I, I've found over the years that people really don't mind which model you adopt. There are only about five variations so there's not a lot to choose from. Um, you've got consensus decision making where everybody has to agree, that's cool, like death by partnership. You've got majority vote, so you're going to take a vote and the majority has sway. Um, you can seek opinions you can, and, and use that as a guide. What builds resilience? You know, resilience is a hot topic right now, although I believe that it can be a bit overcomplicated. If you treat your team with respect, if you're realistic in your requests to them, provide rewarding tasks, are approachable and constructive in your critique of their work, you will in all likelihood have the best outcomes available. Mm -hmm.